and I'm not exaggerating at all when I say I am 50-50 like unbiased on which machine you get like whether you get the more affordable machine awesome if you get the Orion awesome I really don't care I make the exact same money either way and mm -hmm. they both perform the same that I've seen <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jake and Sarah with Linked Permanent Jewelry Training. On today's video, you know, we're going to talk about what is the best machine for permanent jewelry. I know that's a huge question that everybody always asks. You know, it's, it's the biggest topic there is, I think, because, you know, there's so much misinformation out there or lack of information because this is just such a new industry. And so, first of all, let's talk about, you know, which are not the best machines for permanent jewelry. And so, Sarah made a good point that, you know, when you go in and Google and search, um, and when I say she made a good point, she was telling me before the video, when, when you go in and Google and search uh, permanent jewelry machine, like a bunch of machines that are not good options pop up. And so Sarah, can you tell us about that? Yeah, usually when you search, and this happened to me too, when I start, first started, I was like, well, I can't use a big rig welder, so what can I use? Soldering machines are everywhere and they still are. And I've seen some people using them too. And that really raises a red flag to me because soldering machines use extreme heat and long periods of heat to melt that metal together. Whereas with an arc spot welder, it's a millisecond and the rest of the chain doesn't heat up. So it just raises a red flag of like, it's dangerous for you. It's dangerous for your customer. And it's also just not going to create a seamless weld or solder. Yeah. And unfortunately we've seen some, you know, trainers out there that are using soldering machines and that's just very dangerous and stuff. So be careful you know about who you trust on that topic are there any red flags to look out for for what is what a soldering machine is usually it's going to have two points that you weld together or you also see an alligator clip with it too um, but it's not a machine that's generating a spark it's more of something that's either it's one stick or two that it's melting slowly melting that that metal together um, and when that's happening like i said it creates a long period of heat so it's going to heat up the rest of the chain Okay. Um, and then when you're done with it, it stays hot too. Got it. So let's talk about, you know, what is the best, you know, machine out there before we jump straight into that answer, you know, let's talk about what machines are out there. So I know that everybody knows about your, when I say everybody, a lot of people who do their research or who have been around at all in the permanent jewelry industry know about the Orion. To me, it's like, you know, the brand name of the industry. Um, what are your thoughts on the Orion and, you know, you, tell us a little bit about it. Well, I like the Orion because it's smaller. It's nicer to look at. It's got a touch screen. But as far as functionality of the two machines that I'm aware of on the market that work, works pretty much the same. Um, the warranty is a little bit better on it. But other than that, you know, it's more of a, a physical characteristics of it than it is its actual functionality as to why I like it more. Okay. So um, I know from just seeing the pictures and videos that the Orion has, and some people call it Orion, but I'm pretty sure it's Orion. Uh, it has like a, a little screen where you can like put your hand in, under there and weld. You know, did you find that to be functional or how, how did you like that? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool if you're just doing rings and bracelets, but clearly if you're doing a necklace or an anklet, it's not, you can't really stick someone's head under there. So I think it, especially for me, I said this earlier, I was like, I think I'm, you know, I've been watching the welds too many times, quality testing over 60 machines, but um, just having it where it, it blanks the screen for you, you don't have to have those glasses on or if you forget, especially if you're doing a bracelet or a ring. But other than that, that's really its only use and purpose. Okay. So I know that um, you've had in-depth experience with both the Orion and, you know, another machine. So there is another machine that we also offer. A lot of our students use it on our training. It's, it's a machine that you know, it's made in China versus the Orion, which is made in the USA. It's a little bit bigger from what I understand. And, you know, it's, I've seen it in person because it's the one we trained my cousin on. So can you kind of tell us about that one, how you found it and your thoughts on it? Um, well, I was Googling around and obviously, you know, the Orion is the first thing that pops up. It's $2,600. I was like, well, I'm not spending that. Um, let me, you know, buy this other machine and see how it goes. And, you know, it took me a couple hours, a couple days to just kind of figuring it out, figuring out how, where to get chain and all the things took a while itself. But I mean, I haven't had any problem with it. I love it. I, you know, I switch back and forth from either one. It just depends on what I'm doing, where I'm at. It is bigger. It's bulkier. It's a little bit heavier than the Orion, but it's still portable by, by every mean in the way. But, um, you know, it doesn't have a touch screen. It has buttons, but yeah. Do you feel like, you know, it's, you're, it's kind of like lower in your quality since you don't have a touch screen? No, because, and I, not that I'm trying to 
to crap on the Orion, it, the Orion does have a touchscreen, but it's not, you know, the touchscreens that we're used to on our phones. Um, it's kind of a very low quality touchscreen, but there's not very many functions on the touchscreen. It's it's literally just a wheel that you can sp spin back and forth, a power button, or a plus and minus button to change the settings. Yeah, and, and we're not here, like she said, we're not here to talk bad about either machine. Um, we're just trying to educate you guys and tell you the pros and cons of both and like all the considerations and factors because we, we teach and offer both machines on our course. And so we I do think they are both good options overall. And that's why I just wanted to go through the pros and cons of each and clear up a lot of misconceptions because I think some people assume, well, oh, if it's not the brand name, then the other one must just be crappy and suck. Um, and that's just not the case. Yeah, no, I w I'm not trying to crap on either one of the machines. If I didn't think they were genuinely good quality machines, I wouldn't have them on our site. I wouldn't put my name behind them. Um, I think, the, you know, people talk about our starter machine, which is the cheaper machine. Oh, it's a, it's an Amazon machine. Well, yeah, you can get it on Amazon, but we're not. We're not getting them from Amazon. And this is the other thing we're doing is we're, I pull every single machine out of a box I will stay up until wee hours of the morning. I will check every functionality on the machine. I will check every single part and make sure that it's working. And then I put a warranty on it. So, you know, you just let me know who else is doing that because I don't know of anyone. No. Yeah, we are the only training company that I know of, to my knowledge in the whole world, that will put a – basically the reason we did this before I kind of go into what our warranty is – you know, we just like Sarah did, she was a single mom. She couldn't afford the Orion for $2,600 when she was starting out. And a lot of people can't. Like, you know, it's a tough time right now in the economy. And, um, you know, to me, I don't want you to have to spend tons of money if you don't have it. Now, if you have the funds and you want to get something that's a little bit smaller and cuter, then go for it. Um, but, you know, we wanted to provide an affordable solution for everyone. And so we're the only company that I know of that actually – you know, we order the machines ourselves. We have a relationship with our manufacturer and then we quality test every single machine like Sarah just described um, before we send it to our students. And that way we can provide a one year warranty to our students. Um, and that's just unheard of. I mean, every other single training company that I've seen, if they if they're not using the Orion and they're using the other machine, you know, they don't even quality test anything. They literally just give people an Amazon affiliate code or affiliate link and they don't even know the the manufacturer and so you really don't know what you're getting you're not getting that warranty mm -hmm. and you're not getting the quality test and so it's kind of just like a gamble at that point if you're using another training company yeah definitely i mean i just want to make sure any product we're putting in front of any of our students is worth it and you know just to kind of hit back on your topic of like not everyone has an extra twenty six hundred dollars laying around but this is the great thing is that how many students have we seen jake that in their first pop-up made back and yep. more and been able to purchase an Orion off the bat. So if that's where you're at, you're like, I really don't want this starter machine, but I really want to do this. I can't afford the Orion. Start with the starter machine because I promise you next week you can you can afford the Orion yeah. <laughs> and some jewelry. Very good point. And I, I think that's even why I talk. I have two cousins in our training program. They're both doing great now. They're both taking permanent jewelry clients. My one of, one of them made $1,100 on her first event last week. That, that was her first business ever. And so I thought that was really cool to be able to make that much money uh, yeah. which $1,100, that's a good amount of money to make in one day for a lot of people, you know. And so, you know, to me, to be able to start a business that quickly and be able to make that much money is just so awesome. And then, like student, like Sarah said, our, our typical student progression is, you know, starting out with the starter machine, you know, building their confidence, building their business. And then in the future, if they need like a tax write-off or they just want to upgrade for the heck of it to have like a smaller machine and stuff, then they will upgrade to the Orion as they have funds. But there's no reason you should be, you know, it's everybody has their own. Now, you know your financial situation better than I do, but just don't overextend yourself just to get something that you think is brand name. I mean, I think they are both great mm -hmm. options. And um, I don't know, Sarah, based, like, based on the quality and of, you know, the quality of the well, did you notice a difference at all between either one of them? No, they're the same. I mean, the Orion, when it does its, its weld, it does its thing. It's a little, it's not as loud, uh, but neither of them are loud on any term, or any sense. But uh, that was pretty much the only thing. I had misfires. I had it just completely not work at some points, just like the other machine. That's just, that's normal with any sort of welding that you're doing. A lot of the times that's because there's, you know, a not great contact, it's user error. And I still, as an experienced welder, have user error sometimes. So I think people keeping that in mind. Yeah. And that's one thing we've seen is like, you know, people 
we, we had a couple of people who like were having trouble with the weld because they weren't doing it right. We came to find out like after we provided support, but they were like blaming the machine because they, they had the more affordable machine. And so they, they literally sent their machine back. It was working fine. They upgraded to the Orion and it had the same exact issues because it wasn't a machine issue. It was a technique issue. It was a user error. And so be careful what you hear on these Facebook groups are like, oh, that machine doesn't work or this machine doesn't work. You know, both machines we provide under training are great options. Well, and you know, this is the funny thing too, is we were hearing students saying, my machine's shocking me. I need the Orion. I have to have it. And I'm like, go on and buy it. But if you touch the alligator clip, if you touch the ground, you're, it's going to tingle. And I did it to myself on accident when we were filming with the Orion. And I kind of looked at Brian, the guy video, and he was like, did you get that? <laughs> um, but yeah, there, if, just with like anything electrical, if you're touching parts that you shouldn't be touching, you're going to get yourself a little tingle. So. Awesome. So in summary, let's go over the pros and cons of each of the machines we offer. So let's start with the Orion. So the, I would say the pro is it's smaller and more portable. You know, it has the little shade glass that auto dims so that if you're working on somebody's ring or bracelet, it'll auto dim. Let's see what else, Sarah? Uh, in the touch screen, I think it's nicer to look at. I'm not going to lie. It's a yeah. lot prettier than the starter machine, um, lighter, uh, that kind of thing. The extension, the the power cord on it is a lot longer, so there's not always a need for an extension cord. Whereas with the starter machine, it's probably two foot. Um, so you definitely, if you're not right next to an outlet, want to have an extension cord for it, but they're very minor differences. I mean. Okay, and the, let's see, what are the pros of the other machine? I mean, obviously it's a lot more affordable. It's $2,200 cheaper. Depending where you get it, if you get it on Amazon, you're gonna be paying more, but we get you know better pricing since we have a good you know relationship <laughs> with the manufacturer. And then let's see the, the pros of the other machine. I mean, it's a great starter. Like it's, you've been using it for a year and had no issues. It's pretty reliable. You know, it produces the same quality weld and yeah, it's, it's a good machine. Um, I would say the cons I've heard a couple reports from students say that sometimes the settings will uptick. So, you know, can you talk about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the settings will f flip back to original. So when you turn on the machine, you'll see on the on the right side of the panel, there's like a gold setting, there's an ortho setting, and it's meant to stay on those settings for the most part, because you have to remember that these machines were not, and when I say these machines, I'm including the Orion in it, were made for laboratory work. Um, they weren't made for permanent jewelry. So they have specific settings they're supposed to be on, but you can adjust those settings if you want. And so with the starter machine, it will sometimes flip back to its original setting after a few moments. So just, and I kind of train on that, you know, making sure you're keeping your eye on your machine between each weld and making sure your settings are where it's supposed to be. It should just be habit. And the same with the Orion. Yeah. And I'm not exaggerating at all when I say I am 50-50, like unbiased on which machine you get. Like whether you get the more affordable machine, awesome. If you get the Orion, awesome. I really don't care. I make the exact same money either way and mm -hmm. they both perform the same that I've seen. And that's really all I care about is our students can get, you know, the best results. Um, they can have a reliable machine that they can, you know, grow their business and be successful. And so, you know, doesn't matter which one you get to me, you know, if, if you, you know, if you have a ton of money and you're just like, oh, I need a tax write off before the end of the year, like maybe you're a med spa that's starting, you know, starting a permanent jewelry, you know, service and you already have a lot of profits and cash flow, then sure, get the more expensive machine. That way you have a tax write off and it's a little bit cuter. You know, if you're someone who's like, well, I don't really have that much money and I need that capital to maybe buy some more chains and really get my business started, well, get the more affordable machine and you can always upgrade in the future, you know, and save that other machine as a backup or sell it. And so I think both are great options. And you know, that's why we offer both. Yep, completely non biased party. Like Jake said, it makes no difference to us on the profitability side of which machine you choose. Awesome. Well, hope you learned a lot from this. Maybe if you're doing research on what machine to use, or maybe you just wanted to know the pros and cons of each one. I hope this did clarify it. And, you know, if you haven't seen our other YouTube videos, you know, we have one about Argon. You know, what is Argon? We have one about profits and, you know, how to calculate certain profit margins or like have the highest profit margins. And we also have one that, you know, maybe you've, this is the first video you came across with permanent jewelry. We have one that actually explains all the essentials. And so um, definitely go check out our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. And, you know, like I said, my name is Jake Randolph. This is Sarah Otto. And we are the co-founders of Linked Permanent Jewelry Training. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.